Hi there, this is Unmesh from Perfect, and one of the most common questions that I receive time and again is how to rotate without cutting out the sides. How do you straighten your image or rotate your image without cutting off the sides? For example, here we have an image and we want to straighten it. As you can see, it's not straightened. So we will press C for the crop tool and if we try to straighten it, let's just go ahead and click on straighten and click on a line which is supposed to be straight in real life. Drag along that line and hit enter. And if we hit enter, have a look. Everything here, here and at the bottom is being cut out. So what do we do? How do we solve that problem? All right, let's go back and let's start it right from scratch. So if you're using the latest version of Photoshop, especially the Photoshop version after 2015.5, you will have this amazing feature called Content Aware. Okay, so once you have selected the crop tool or once you're in the move tool or any other tool, when you press C to select the crop tool, you will have at the top content aware and delete cropped pixels. Make sure that you check off delete cropped pixels. Make sure this is not checked because we don't want to delete any cropped pixels. And secondly, make sure you check content aware if you want Photoshop to automatically fill those spaces. So make sure you check that. Okay. And now when you try to straighten it with the straightening tool, click on the straighten or simply rotate it, do whatever you like. I'm just going to straighten it just like that and drag along the line of the horizon, which should have been straight in real life. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. Maybe I just missed it a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now what do we have to do? Maybe you want to expand it like that at the top. Maybe let's expand it to the side and you can try expanding in the bottom, but then again, it's difficult to reproduce this area, but we can try that. No problem. All right, let's go ahead and try that. Once you're done, you can hit the enter key or the return key on a Mac. Now it does its own calculations and all that stuff. Let it do its calculation and it tries to fill in those areas. Now let's see what kind of a job Photoshop does at estimating those areas and filling it all in. So it's still doing the calculations and now it has done a pretty good job as you can see. It has filled this area pretty nicely. Nobody can tell right side pretty nice. Bottom as I said, it's just impossible to produce a hand and all that stuff. So we, we're going to have to crop it with the crop tool selected. Just click on it once and crop it from the bottom. Make sure it's clear right? and crop it from the bottom. Now we're here. All right. There we go. Something like that. Let's crop even more. All right. That is perfect. I guess let's zoom in and have a look. We can go a little more. Maybe this is okay. See how nicely it did copy the dress, but the hand, it messed up. So there we go. It's okay. You're, it's fine. Now let's go ahead and look at the top. The top is something that we need to fix. It's always better to be non-destructive. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. All right. Let's zoom in quite a bit here. No problem at all. We're going to choose the clone stamp tool. And first of all, at the top, there are some areas here which needs to be fixed. So make the brush bigger. All right. To take a sample, hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the area that you want to sample from and paint on the area that you want to sample to. So hold the Alt, click on the area that you want to sample from, paint on the area that you want to sample to. So it's like a copy paste on a brush. Okay, we have fixed that. Now let's fix this. It's going to be very simple. Let's take a sample from here, hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on in here takes a sample, but it's just not matching, right? You can see the preview. It's just not matching. So what do we do? Simple. We'll go to windows clone source. Now here we can rotate this thing. We can click and drag it to the right to rotate the sample to the right. Also, as you can do, you can use the shortcut, which is shift alt and the right arrow bracket key in Mac. It would be shift option and the right arrow bracket key. It kind of rotates it. There we go. Just like that. Now let's make it a little smaller like this and maybe we want to rotate it even more. Okay. That kind of fits as it lines up properly. We're going to paint. Okay. Nice. Let's do it on this side. Let's take a sample from here and we're going to rotate it on the opposite area. We can use this as well to rotate. Okay maybe a little more, maybe a little more. Let's make it smaller. Let's see whether that fits. It fits 
pretty good. And yeah, it did a pretty good job. Now we can just fill in the rest of the areas. You can just sample from here and fill in a little bit there. Sample from here, fill in a little bit there. Okay, and let's reset it. It's, it's We don't want every sample to be rotated. Let's reset it. It's back to its normal. Okay, now it looks strange. We're gonna just take a sample, fill it in, take a sample, fill it in. And keep in mind that we are doing it on its own layer. And if nothing is happening, make sure the sample is current and below because we wanna sample from whatever we are painting in this layer and whatever is inside of layer zero, okay? So which is the current layer and the layer which is beneath it, that's why we have selected current and below at the top. Now once you have painted, you are pretty much good to go. Let's have a look at it. Isn't that amazing? So we have reproduced the sides, filled in the sides and that's how you do it. However, if you're using an older version of Photoshop, if you do not have content aware fill, you can still do it. How can you do it? So let me show the first steps again. The second steps, it's gonna be the same. All right, let me just go back to the start. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to history, windows, and then there is history, where it is. There we go. Or you could have clicked here, it's the same thing. Now you can go to the start, there we go. And let's do that again. And this is for the cases if you don't have the latest version of Photoshop, press C, and maybe you wanna use the straighten and let's just go ahead and straighten that thing. All right, just like that. And if you don't have this, let's keep it unchecked. If you don't have that, let's increase all this. We are not gonna increase it in the bottom because it's just not possible. We'll hit enter. Now what I want you to do, first of all, always make sure delete crop pixels is checked off. Next, make a selection of the picture. Hold the control or command and click on the thumbnail. It makes a selection of it. But we wanna fill everything which is not selected. So to select those areas, we will invert the selection. To invert the selection, go to select and then inverse. You can also use the shortcut, shift control I, command shift I. Now once you have inverted it, when we do fill it, we don't want a line around the corner. So what do we do? We will expand the selection. So go to select, modify, expand expand it by five it's fine it's five six just make sure it digs in if it doesn't dig in you might have to increase the number totally depends upon the resolution of the image okay looks pretty good now let's fill in go to edit fill make sure content aware is checked make sure preserve transparency is not checked because we don't want to preserve any other transparency here okay and everything looks all right hit okay and it might do the same thing. Let it do its job and I'm sure it will do the same thing. All right, there we go, Control or Command D. Let's zoom out and have a look. It did the exact same thing. And we have to clear that up just like we did before. It's the same thing, but it takes longer steps. Photoshop just added the feature at the top to make it quicker. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick little recap. All you have to do, press C to open up the crop tool. Then you would rotate it the way you like it. Make sure delete cropped pixels is checked off. Make sure content aware is checked on if you like to fill in those spaces. Then hit enter or the return key. It fills up those spaces automatically. Now, you might have to do some corrections using the clone stamp tool or the healing brush tool or anything that you like. Secondly, if you have an earlier version of Photoshop, then what you might have to do after rotating, select the image, invert the selection, expand the selection so that it kind of digs in, and then go to edit, fill, content aware to fill in those spaces, and that is pretty much it. I hope this video helped you, and if it did, make sure to give us a like, and also do not forget to subscribe, and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tip, trick, or tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering where I am or why are the videos coming so slow or why am I not appearing in the videos, well, I am not at home. I'm here in Orlando attending Photoshop World and doing a lot of other things, very interesting things, which I will be sharing with you very, very soon. I will definitely be back in a couple of weeks. Till then, keep practicing, keep creating. Thank you so very much.